what's up everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel nicole of course as you guys can see from the title today i got food from a restaurant called bomb shells now if you guys don't know what that is it's basically like a twin peaks if you don't know what that is just go ahead and google it um it's kind of giving the same vibe the women waitresses are all in shorter skirts and tied up crop tops um and when I was waiting around looking for my food, I noticed something that really just didn't sit right with me. Um, and I kind of want to talk about it a little bit in this video. So stay tuned for that. First, you know, we got to get the basics down. Um, and I think I ordered some pretty cool and fun food that I wanted to show you guys as well. So we got to get our thumbnail and pray. Um, and then we can hop back to that subject because I definitely want to know what your opinion is on it as well. And I'm going to share mine. So with that being said, um, this is only my second time ever eating at this restaurant and the first time I went inside but that was like I think right when I moved down here to Texas um, and then this one and I just obviously got this to go so let's see here I got two cool really cool things um, so the first thing is um, hot it's mozzarella sticks but rolled in or deep fried in um, hot Cheeto dust so those look really really amazing they give you some um cheese dipping sauce there on the side and a little lettuce for the look <laughs> um and then these are actually it said captain crunch chicken tenders i believe um so and then there's french fries on top. But these are kind of looking like regular chicken tenders to me. Um, and they smell like regular chicken tenders. I don't know. Um, they look good. And so do the fries and everything. And I think this is ranch over here. Or maybe the sauce is Captain Crunch. Like the cereal. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we have. And um, yeah, I think that's it. Let's get a thumbnail real quick. We can pray and dive in. I got a Sprite, which that's a long story too. <laughs> um, so yeah. Er. All right, I had to pause and take a quick thumbnail um, without the food real quick, but let's go ahead and get a prayer and we can dive in. Father God, I wanna thank you for this food. And please bless this food. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, let's dig in. I low-key wanna try the hot flaming mozzarella sticks first, just because I see that it is what it says on the menu. And this one over here kinda of looks like a flap which it, if it is, I will kind of be upset, <laughs> not gonna lie. Um, and I probably will give them a call. But let's try this first. Let me get this up here for you guys so you can actually see what I'm eating. And you can see my dip too. <laughs> Just thumbnail if, that, if none of my other ones work out, all right? <laughs> so here we go. Comment down below, sound off down below if, uh, first of all, there's going to be, I want you to comment on a couple of different things. If you have a bombshells where you're at, um, cause I want to know if they're in other states and then also, um, what I'm going to bring up a little bit later. So, but first let's get a bite. Mmm. Mmm. That sauce is not cheese, it's their special sauce. I forgot she told me that. These are pretty good. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm hmm. I like them. I will get them again. The sauce is a little hot. Mmm. Mmm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm. That last bite went down the wrong way. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's try this real quick. First of all, let's see the fries. They're good, but they can be, I don't, I mean, they can have like a little bit more crunch to them. They're a little soft, too soft for me. Let me just open up this sauce. I think this is just ranch. So if this is just ranch, then I don't know if these are the Captain Crunch chicken. I guess we'll find out. Here's the dip. I know the sun is kind of making it hard. Yeah, I see it. These are it, but I thought they were gonna give me a little bit something more, you know. First of all, it's aesthetically pleasing, A. I thought these would be like, you know, maybe garnished with a little bit of color on top, um, but that's a no. And it's a very, very light um, taste of the cereal. Mm, I don't recommend these. I wouldn't get them again, <laughs> to be honest. Mm. Eh, it's okay. <clears throat> but I think I like the mozzarella sticks more, for sure. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So, let's just get right into it right away. Um, as soon as I walked in, I went straight to the bar and ordered, placed my order. And like I said, this was my second time ever being here. And, um... Sorry, there's a really sketchy car next to me and they know dang well they're not going to be pulling up to anywhere. I'm nowhere near a business. I'm right in the back of the bombshell restaurant and they're just trying to be nosy. Anywho. Excuse me. <laughs> um, <clears throat> dang, that door flung open. All right, anyways, guys, so went in, placed my order, and um, all right, so let's just get straight to the story, right? I know you guys want to hear it, and I sure want to talk about it as well. So here we go. This is my second time going into the restaurant, like I said. And um, this time I just did take out, last time I sat there and ate um, the Boston, the Celtics game and who was it? Miami Heat was on, on playing, <laughs> excuse me, right when I went in there. Today is Memorial Day, um, by the way. So I don't know when I'm posting this, but that's what it is. So um, placed my order, went, went ahead and there was, it wasn't too many people in there. Um, the bar had more people than like the booths and the chair, the regular chairs, like sit down area. Um, people were just like having drinks and stuff. 
little cocktail moment, if you will. Uh, so I go ahead and sit at my regular table. And I'm looking around, or no. I'm just sitting there chilling, waiting for my food so I get on my phone. I go on TikTok and I just keep like looking up from time to time um, just in case if like they're bringing me my order. I don't want to be like Jeep in my phone or whatever. So I looked up and this girl had a application in her hand and was going to sit down to go fill it out, which, well, let's just skip that part. And <clears throat> mind you, right when I walked in, I was asking the lady, the girl, um, if they had these, because someone told me about these, I just never had them before. And she was like, I don't know, to be honest, like today's my first day. Um, so like, I'm still trying to like figure everything out. And I said, oh, that's fine. Like, I totally get that. Um, so keep that in your mind as well. And she was a very small, petite girl. So basically, I'm looking around um, after I see the, the woman with the application. And she was very, very tiny, petite girl as well. Don't get me wrong. Everyone is beautiful from size double zero to whatever the size may go up to. Everyone's gorgeous. And they're each in their own way. I think very little is uh, great and you know the biggest size they have is great as well so my argument is why do they only hire petite girls I mean I was only there one day I don't know if that's really the deal um you know maybe if I came, uh, left and came back on a different day there is gonna be thicker girls but every girl that walked in I think today was like maybe like um an orientation for them because a group of girls came in um because remember I told you they forgot my sprite so I had to go back so there was a group of girls they all changed into the outfits and were uh, getting ready for you know to like I think orientation or something I don't know um, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't worked in, in, a, in a little bit, um, and I'd never worked at, like, a, a place like this where I had to wear, like, um, like a, a outfit like that, um, which is cute. I'm not digging on them whatsoever, but my question is, like, have y'all ever been to a bombshells and they had, like, a thicker woman, um, as a waiter or a waitress, I should say, or in the front or the bartender or whatever, because I looked around and I mean, I wasn't trying to like stare cause that's rude, but all the girls were just like this little petite, can you, can big girls not work there? Like, and if that's the case, that's straight up wrong. And I should not be eating their food, but I am cause I am hungry. And I didn't know this until, you know, I walked out and I could be wrong. They could have thicker girls on there. you know on their team working for them but I just felt like because I I could be making this up too in my head but I feel like they kind of looked at like judged me a little bit in a way as well because I walked in by myself and um I went up straight to the booth and that's what the other girls did and they were applying for to work there so they probably th thought like oh no like this plus size woman um with thicker legs and thicker arms and a bigger belly is trying to come here and apply i really low-key after i <clears throat> scoped the whole place out <laughs> no um, I wanted to, when I was, my plan was basically, and let me know if you guys want to, um, want me to do this or not, um, like on a different day and maybe a different location. <laughs> um, should I go back and I was thinking about getting in the app or trying to like, just see what they would say. Like, 
<laughs> okay, I'm going way too far. I'm like, should I get a camera, strap it to my body, and go in like acting as if I'm trying to apply for their job and see if they say anything like crazy? So what you guys think? Let me know. Sound off in the comment section below. Um, because if that's a thing, that is really, really wrong. And guys just don't have, like, guys are all thirsty, A. Eh? <laughs> Let's just get that out there. So, you know, guys will be guys. But guys have different, you know, types uh, that, like, different types of women, you know, like, curvier girls, whatever. Um... So why can't women with all body types work at a place like that? Why? Because they have belly shirts and mini skirts on? Like, everybody is beautiful. And I just didn't think it, it was right. It didn't sit with me, especially me being a thicker woman. So, I mean, you know, kind of sucks that our world is coming to that. Because... There's other places that I notice, like, camp. <clears throat> There's this place called Camp here in Houston, and they basically wear the crop top. They're, like, lumberjacks. So they wear, like, the little crop top, booty shorts, and, like, hiking boots. But it's all women with, like, little itty-bitty waists and, like, um, little arms, but a big old like donk. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Again, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. I wish I had that body, but it's not an, a mixture. Which which leads me to a different uh, subject. Um, subject or topic have you guys just recently seen I think it's Sports Illustrated magazine um, they had a thicker and she wasn't even like yeah she's not a size double zero but she was not big by any means the woman on the, on the front of the the, uh, the magazine people were like I think people were going crazy on Twitter like just talking mad trash about her and I was like, what is this world doing? They're just told, they're wrong for that. Mmm. Another thing is, the, okay, so for the Sports Illustrated magazine, I was watching a podcast and, uh, um, this guy was saying that he is dating a larger man and they were trying to go out last minute to like a nice dinner and they tried to run to the store for like a bigger shirt. I think like maybe like 4X or something. No one carried it. Like I think they tried to go to like Macy's and uh, uh, I think the only store that they said did have it was like Burlington. Which, by the way, Burlington, remember how it used to be Burlington Coat Factory? And now it's, I guess now it's just Burlington. So, but they said, <clears throat> when we looked it up online, yeah, they had all the options. Um, but in store, they don't because they were also explaining that because it was like a group of people on the podcast. They were explaining that, um, because <clears throat> I guess one of them were a little bit bigger when they were younger, and they explained that they didn't want to go to the stores because it was embarrassing, um, for them to try on the, the clothes and, um, or even just shop in the stores or whatever, so, uh, they were saying that the, the store just thinks that they would prefer it for, they would prefer to shop online better and just have it shipped to their house. I'm sorry, but 
<clears throat> Once again, I'm going to keep saying this because people on the internet, A, are going to always twist your words. So every body type is gorgeous, beautiful. Don't get me wrong. I'm personally bigger. Yes, I wish I lost maybe like 15, 20 pounds, but I still love the a curvier woman. Um, I just think it looks like, I don't know, don't you want something to grab on? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, not just skin and bones, you know? I mean, and if that's what you like, that's perfectly fine. But I just think like it should be more accepted. Um, and the world just needs to uh, get it together. So, I know that last part was just a lot of me, like, telling you what other people said on their podcast, but I thought it was a valid point, and it made sense to add that in into this video because of the fact that, you know, they're only hiring petite girls, and I should walk in there after this meal and be like, hi, I was just in here, I ordered from you, and the manager is there too, he was right up in the front answering calls and stuff what do you guys think should we should we go on a little mission <laughs> mm. me know I just want to know your thoughts and opinions on it um <clears throat> how do you guys feel about that do you notice that in in your location if you have a bombshells there or do you know a specific place that you know does the same thing comment down below we can all chat about it together in a nice way let's not come for everybody <laughs> um just know a grown group of adults having a nice conversation and you know what i'm saying like let's not make it out to be like this horrible thing that i brought up <clears throat> so with that being said excuse me I think I'm gonna sign off I don't want I really don't want to eat too much a this isn't like the best food in the world so you know it, they don't have like a very wide selection either um, but I think it's just well it is what it is but um, I don't want to eat too much because <laughs> I'm actually gonna go swimming after this and I don't want to have a bloated tummy <laughs> um, while I'm out, you know, taking some some spicy pictures or whatever I may be doing, all right? So, I don't know, like I said, when this video is going to be posted. It is Memorial Day, so happy Memorial Day to everyone out there. Um, and I'm sorry if I'm late on that. Uh, <laughs> let me know what you guys did. I'm going to go have a ball. I got to run home and change and drive to my friend's house. So I love you guys so much. You can always find me here on YouTube and Instagram at Nicole, of course, on Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook. It's Nicole, of course, with two E's at the end. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.